Okay, so today I'm going to be making a kind of tea that if um, if you were ever locked up in a Russian prison, this would be your bread and butter. Because in prison you don't have any vodka, you don't have any beer, you don't have anything that you would normally drink. But they do give you tea, black tea specifically, but what you do with it is you take it and you turn it from ordinary tea into something that'll make you feel kind of funny, interesting, I guess. So, that's what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to demonstrate in a, in a manner how you would make this tea, which is called chifir. So, this is essentially what you do. It's a little bit more complicated than just making tea. So, you boil water, or... I use 180 degree water, so 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that would be in Celsius, but um, it's not boiling. It's about it's under boiling, so 20 degrees under boiling. What you're going to need is you're going to need a container to brew your tea in and you need something to wrap it in to, to keep it hot so the heat doesn't escape. So I'm going to use this, a uh, French press. And while I'm making this video I think I should point out something I noticed. I have the same bowl. I have two of these but I have the same bowl as a uh, Life of Boris, I just noticed that when I was watching one of his videos, so that was kind of funny. Normally I wouldn't make a video like this, but I just thought, you know, I'll do something a bit different. I've been sitting on it for a while, so I just thought, why not? Well, if, if you were locked up in a Russian prison, you'd probably have to, you know, pay extra for the tea. Because, uh, like anything else in prison, it costs. And uh, you don't get anything for free. And usually the thieves or the boar would be taking your, uh, your tea, your butter, anything of value, your sugar. So, uh, jam, anything that could be used... Uh, you know, anything that gives you a little bit of a good taste is valuable in a place like prison. And uh, nothing more so than tea, because tea has a psychoactive effect, and the way we're going to make it is going to maximize what gives it the most psychoactive effect, which is theanine, and also caffeine. But theanine is what's it's going to give you that good feeling of euphoria, so, uh, you can get by, you know, you're not depressed sitting in your cell, you're going to have, you're going to feel like you're on a roller coaster. And, for the record, uh, this has nearly as much caffeine in it, if you do it right, as a can of Red Bull. So, we'll see how crazy it gets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the tops of the tea bags because I want the uh, tea to be loose in the in the brewing container. 
So the more it moves around, the more of a, an effect you'll get. And you won't lose anything from the compaction. So I used to do this all the time because I knew about it from uh, the quote Gulag Archipelago. But I never wanted to make I never thought to make a video about it until I started watching Life of Boris on YouTube. If you don't know who that is, look him up. I'll put a link in the description to one of my uh, favorite videos of his and his channel still so, uh, I don't he I hope I hope, uh, I hope you guys find something you like, either way. So what you're going to do is, when you got the water hot, you're going to take it, and I'm using this kind of thing, so it, it might be different depending on what you use, but the results will be the same. You want to take the hot water, and you want to pour it into the container. And you want to put something on on top to keep it in somewhat. And then you're going to let it sit. But what you're going to do to maximize the potential 